welcome back and it's time for the more of the interviews and analyzing sudden matters startups can be a bit tricky if you are to look at that and uh, starting up in Uganda may not be so challenging if one has the money however it is on record that most of the startups in Uganda today do not last to even uh, celebrate their first anniversary or their first birthday the question has always been why is that so why are they bigger challenges uh, that can never be addressed are there small small things or are they bigger uh, problems associated with the startups what do you need to know uh, when you're setting up your business and in today's topic we are looking at the startup businesses what to consider before starting up where do you have to face is it a direction that you need to take or is there something new and joining me on set is uh mr muwonge yes you're most welcome sir thank you uh, maybe you can help me introduce yourself further to the viewer okay good morning dear viewers of smart 24 tv mm. my name is i'm called francis muwonge and I'm seated in here as a business consultant mm. and I'm in partnership with the Smart24 TV because smart means business and we are here yeah, to exactly. the business. Because we definitely do drive the business. Yeah. Uh, what are the startups, if you're to bring it out in a moment for a viewer to understand, what is a startup? First of all, as you said, Mr. Moderator, in your intro, that sometimes businesses get started like in our nation, Uganda, and they don't manage to see their first anniversary. Mm. It, it, it's because uh, there is a, an origin for that problem. Okay. Which problem I want to address today jointly with you mm. in this chat, kind of. Mm. Uh, 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 f first of all, who are those startups? We would take them as those individuals who would love to begin any enterprise, wherever they can put them. Mm. But you because know, you have the money. Yeah, you. because you have the mm. money. And mm. in some of these even, even enterprises, you don't have to need to, to have capital. Some of them don't need money, mm. okay? But the, the big question here is, uh, what should be considered before you move into setting up any enterprise? Mm. Point number one, have a business idea mm. with you. Because the business idea is the dream. Dear viewers of Smart24, you can never have a successful business mm. if this business has not started with you by having your dream of what you want to do. Okay. Have the dream. After having the dream, that's not the end of it, Mr. Moderator. Mm -hmm. You have to have some other subsequent actions you need to, to do. The question is, what could those ones be after having gotten my business idea? Think of one, how much will my business idea call for? Because you say you may have money. Some people don't have money. Okay. That they need first plan and know if I want to set up, for example, a craft or furniture shop, what does it call? For to put it in place okay. that answers the the content of capital the volume of capital you need to do no, to you see, uh, mr monga here is if you're looking at uh, the startups normally yes. let's try to build them uh, from an angle of uh, a sector sector to sector business to business yes. for instance yes i think i can do a bakery business yes i woke up in the morning i feel i have uh, the skills i am I have the knowledge to start it up. I yes. even have the money. Yes. Now, in that angle of bakery, it yes. may not be bakery, yes. but it may be confectionery. Yes. So, what do I need to consider in that angle? First of all, uh, uh, Mr. Moderator, uh, the issue of startup capital mm. will keep varying from the type of enterprise you want to put in place. Okay. Because different business ideas will call for different capital volumes. Okay? okay. Now, if we are to go by covering sector by sector, we may take a full day. But we are saying, the moment you have your idea, place yourself in your business idea and answer the question of how much 
in terms of capital volume do I need to have so as to have this enterprise put in place? Mm. The moment you answer that, that one comes along with budgeting, okay? Because you'll be answering questions like, what do I need the teammates I have to do? How am I supposed to do the staffing within the, 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 the enterprise? Because the business is not supposed to be, you know, uh, dependent on the proprietor only. There, mm -hmm. must, be, there must be structures. True. For, for a business to flow very mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Now, once you answer that, that, that question of capital volume, the other mm -hmm. question should be, where do I get or how do I get that capital volume? Because you said in your intro you may be having capital. Mm -hmm. but, but dear viewers of Smart24 TV, it does not mean that whoever wakes up and starts up business found himself originally with that capital. Some people get capital along the way after having assessed what volume of capital they need. Then they will know where to go and mm. get that capital. Okay. For example, to help these people be able to start up their enterprises. Some people have started up businesses entirely purely when they are, be uh, they are basing their enterprises on financial institutions, okay. like getting loans, mm. and they've put in their collateral securities there. No, because maybe our system tells us if you go for a loan, mm. there are chances of your venture growing higher. Well, you know when you uh, get to interact with most of these people, yes. they will tell you, I have a loan with this yes. bank, I have a loan with this yes, bank. Yes, yes. Mm. But you see, there are so many driving factors that can determine somebody to, to, to go to the bank and acquire a loan. It's, it, one may be that I don't have a, anywhere to start from. I don't have any money with me, but I have my collateral, which I can put in as security, and I acquire the capital which I assessed, and then I see myself starting. Okay? There are those ones who have their startup capitals. And then they need to expand. It means that person goes to the bank or to any financial institution to just solicit for a loan to boost the business. Okay. But for us, we are here to advise these people, irrespective of their, you know, their, their categories. Do you have capital or you, you have somewhere to start from? Mm. So, so the, now we are continuing with, with our journey okay. of what should be expected of somebody who is supposed to start mm. up any enterprise but, before uh, you move in. In into fact, yeah, let's look at what are the do's. The do's. Mm. The do's which you should have before. Point number one, we finish mm. that. Okay. Be having a business idea. Okay. Then knowing the volume of capital you need. Mm. Then where you, sh you think you can acquire that capital. Ask me why. Mm. Because if we are thinking of going like uh, financial institutions, eh, it means we are buying people's monies at a cost. Okay. It means you have to get to a direction whereby, much as you are buying out capital, buy that capital which is given or which is offered at the lowest interest rate. Because if you acquire capital at a very higher interest rate, okay. then you may not realize your first anniversary, as you say, because the repayments will be over and above your returns of right. the business. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the other do you should have, the teamwork. And this one has collapsed so many people's enterprises mm -hmm. because they start up their businesses, you see mm -hmm. them, they are not serious, he's the, no, manage, but, uh, he's if, the manager. If you look at the teamwork, yes. uh, the challenge of teamwork is, um, sorry to cut you short, mm -hmm. sometimes I start my business mm -hmm. on my own. Yes. And then in the African narrative, mm. people love being recognized yes. as uh, a great entrepreneur mm. and they hate affiliate, being affiliated to other people. Mm. Uh, someone saying that he's there because of uh, the other person. Mm. So he would want to start a business alone, mm. uh, face the challenges alone, mm. put the, uh, the investments alone, mm. everything alone. Mm. So with that on the teamwork, that is why I wanted mm -hmm. to... Mm. For me, let me be very clear to all viewers of Smart24 TV. What mm. do I mean by teamwork? This is what I mean. We are here at Smart24. It means mm. there is an appropriate for this kind of enterprise. Eh? Exactly. And that enterprise, uh, that person who is uh, the appropriate of this business mm. is working with the team. For example, you are part of his team. 
-hmm. That one has no impact with him, you know, having the, the name that, that you know the business is not mine and it's for some other person. No, not at all. The team we are talking about, eh, mm -hmm. uh, these are people you are supposed to be with to run that business. It does, not mean, it does not necessarily mean that these people are contributing also partially mm -hmm. the capital into your business. No. Let us take an example of having a, somebody having a school. Eh? A school can be an enterprise, okay? Sure. Let, let us say a kindergarten. Mm -hmm. If you are an entrepreneur of a kindergarten, you need people to work with. Eh? You need, for example, receptions. You need somebody who will take care of the kids. Mm -hmm. You need you need some the teachers. Uh, the teachers, these ones who will keep whatever. A that driver. Is, that is the team I'm mm -hmm. talking about. There is no team. There is no business that can succeed when it is being managed single-handedly. Okay. Okay. And actually, that one explains the reasons why people who are handling these, you know, small, small businesses like uh, uh, vending tomatoes, eh? mm. uh, they, Selling uh -huh. they yeah. don't last, their projects don't last for so long. Yeah, but the reason just being that, I want you to imagine when that lady has felt sick, it means then she will not go and what? And sell. Mm. But if this was a business having teamwork, the system, when the owner is sick, in the commerce, the business can continue mm. to shrive. Okay. That's what I meant. Mm. Then another do, which I want, which, which I, I want the startups to, you know, to have before they, they come into this business. Eh? Mm. You, you need to know to what extent are you supposed to grow your business. Oh, okay. That is paramount. Mm. Ask me why. why. Some people, when they go into businesses, most, of, most like most Ugandans, they go in having copied ideas and pasted them. Eh? You have a boutique, then he, he, he also makes a boutique. Eh? Now, that person who has copied the, the, the business does not know the other person who had the original concept. To what extent had he planned to, 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 you know, to expand the, the business? Because if you, you over expand a given enterprise, eh, it can collapse with you for some genuine reasons. Eh? Somewhere you may lose control over your business because the business as you over expand <laughs> it, it brings on board so many individuals eh, mm -hmm. who may not be, uh, I mean, controllable. Hmm? So, so, so uh, 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 depending on what you are going to handle, if you are this person who is going to handle a confectionery, But let's start with the challenges uh, these businesses uh, face, most of the startups, like I say, most of them do not last long in Uganda. Yes. And people tend, up, uh, tend to actually change the direction of business. If he has seen this is not working in the first eight months, mm. then the next year he starts something new. Yes. What are those challenges? Yes, but before we go to the challenges, okay. let us give them the last two do's you should have okay. so that you cross to the to the challenges okay somebody before you enter into putting up any investment eh, mm. first understand what your market will be because at the end of the day your enterprise should have an end result eh, which you're supposed to sell in the market mm. if you have not identified your market eh, do not start otherwise if you start and you, you have the products and you don't have where to dispose them from, then it means you have already collapsed, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you have also to look at things like, uh, do, do you have the knowledge required? If, for example, I wanted to, to, to start up Smart24 TV, eh? do I have also some knowledge? Because if I'm the owner of Smart24, mm -hmm. I should also know or have knowledge of handling a camera, such that... If Mr. So-and-so is sick, hmm, I can step in 
And then the viewer behind Smart 24 will not realize that he, actually the cameraman felt sick. Okay. It's because you have acquired some knowledge before you have set up your enterprise. Mm. Now we cross to the challenges. Mm. Mr. Moderator, given our country, there are so many challenges actually that are facing these startup businesses. Mm. One, like in a country, Uganda, where we are, the cost of doing business very high. is very high. Mm. That is challenge number what? Number one. And what makes this cost of starting a business high? It is rotating on one major key factor. Asking what is that? Which could that be? Taxation. Okay. It is taxation that keeps on fluctuating everything. Because if they tax that... that, that but with that, startups mainly. Because if we're to look at uh, the startups in taxation, you'll f find that someone who is dealing in uh, selling, uh, if you're to start up your business of vending tomatoes, your taxes may be favorable. Uh, no, 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 no. Because just the council no, will come and through it's and... A, it's mm. a no, because mm. whether you are looking at a tomato vendor, mm. the tomato vendor is mm. not the one who actually produces the tomatoes. Mm. The tomatoes come from the farm. Exactly. The farmer is subjected to going to areas like container village to, to buy these pesticides. Eh? Mm. And when this person buys them expensively, mm. then he has to transfer the, the taxes the, to the, the other. Burden. It is a financial burden. Mm. And transfers it to this. So that you help him. And you share know, that okay. whatever. Mm. But then the other container village person who mm. is expensive in terms of pesticide is doing so because when that person is in the making of the those whatever chemicals, eh? the tax is what is high because he does not have the raw material. Okay? okay. Now, point number two, which is a challenge here in Uganda, mm -hmm. the location of the businesses. Ask me how is it a, 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 a challenge? Now, mm -hmm. you, you, you've moved around Kampala and some other major cities in Uganda. People have built arcades. But when you look at it, I, 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 these arcades are full to capacity, the ground floor and probably uh, yes. the second mm. one. Then, but then the, the upper floors are all empty. empty. Mm. It is, it, 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 the reason lies here. I cannot be a person who is going to uh, kind of trade in, in garments and I put my shop of garments on the 11th floor mm. because I will not get people to climb all those ladders Looking and reach me. a suit or a shirt. Why? Mm. I just pop in these shops which are Mm, because I'll definitely get uh -huh. what I want. Now, to. how is it a challenge now? That it, the moment people are putting up structures, all the ground floors are booked as they are just, you know, breaking the ground. And by the time you, you go to look for space, it becomes a problem. Secondly, mm. away from our kids, we are on, again, the issue of location of the businesses. You've seen vendors on the streets. They are on and off. They are on and off. The reason is, being, is, sim is simple, that these vendors got o o on the streets because they, they, they feel that is the, lo the location where they could easily catch your eyes and you buy from them. And they decide to put everything in uh -huh. front of the other But businesses. again, these city authorities, do, uh, the laws don't uh, admit that. Okay. So, so, so they're always in a, a chase chasing each other. Mm. Now, the challenge of having a chess game in a business, mm. you are putting your capital in a status of being fragile. Because if they confiscate that or whatever, mm. it means that you are back to zero. Okay? True. Then the other challenge is the interest rate, as I said, for the banks. Okay? Very high. They are very high. Much as you can have, because there are two aspects here. Accessing the, the, the loan facilities is one, it is a challenge, but also if you access those facilities, the interest rate is high. Like, if we are to go by current figures, currently the lowest bank sells its money at 17%, and there are those ones who, which go up to 20%. But you are, you are making a remittance in interest on 20% hmm. over what you profit you've made in, uh, in, in your business. Okay. It means that's a big challenge, which even if you got money, a year away, you will collapse. Okay? Now we leave with that. We have another challenge that actually hits these enterprises, the startup people. 
ask me what is that what could that be uh-huh this is the game of you know of having the market being flooded with the duplicates mm -hmm. you are making your genuine suit but there's that one who is coming up with the same copy mm -hmm. and putting there another kind of sticker mm -hmm. and sells it at a very cheap word price mm -hmm. In doing so, people are, will definitely look for the cheaper. Uh, mm. Whether they are buying it unknowingly or accidentally, mm. but by the but it just the, looks the same. It just looks the same, to. and and the people are buying it cheaply. And now this one who is genuine and paying the taxes and blah blah, mm. he's stuck with a stock, and it, the, it ends up into a dead stock. Okay, uh, now Mr. Monge, we we, we are actually time bad here. Yes. As you're summing up with the challenges, I would like you to also take us through how to solve them as we are summing up with this discussion now so uh, in, in the aspect of solving these challenges it means each challenge can be solved differently oh, okay. but we should just first give out a major key point eh? mm. we would actually request government eh, true to adjust call on the taxation mm. on some of these major things like mostly the raw materials mm. Mm -hmm. because if you overtax, as I said earlier on, then the, the, the burden of the taxation becomes a function of the subsequent st stages, and the, 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 the person who ends up suffering is the, is the consumer. Mm -hmm. Point number two, the challenge of not having access to capital. You see, I've had the president himself, several, saying that people who want to start up businesses you can have access to funds in the in the African Development Bank. Mm. But my friend... They've actually put their one trillion... Yes, but respect. I believe if it's mm. one trillion, it mm. must be still around the same figure. Reasons being that mm. the requirements those people need, our day-to-day -day Ugandan cannot easily have those requirements to have access to, 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 to those fundings. Okay. And it means the, stat, the status quo remains the same. So mm -hmm. what are we saying, me and, uh, me and you, the moderator, mm -hmm. out of this government? It should simplify eh, the, the road to having access to what? To capital. Have limited requirements eh, so that you can realize your goal and your nationals can get access to the funds and then they can go and start up their, their businesses. Okay. Now, mm. the challenge of rent, you've seen people entering arcades and then leaving. Mm. True. Be because the, the, the rent fees are high. Others are actually sharing their uh -huh. kids, three businesses in one sing single room. So. And, and, mm. and, and, and that means... Everyone's it, paying that, a different passion. And that means mm. even, even, first of all, showcasing the businesses within a shared whatever becomes a problem. Uh, very difficult. And it means also you are sharing the, the customershipness. Uh, so you cannot maximize... become one, but then you're competing uh -huh. again. Uh -huh. And you cannot maximize the, 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 the revenues. It's because you cannot manage the, the, the rent fees. What am I advising the viewers of Smart24 TV today? Mm. That you start from somewhere, mm. but your main goal should be setting up a home for your business. Okay. For example, if I want to make a, a, a market, then you start slowly by slowly, then you end up having your own market. It means mm -hmm. you are, you'll be working mm -hmm. from a place where you don't need to, 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 to pay rent. Okay. And that would mean also the prices you'll be offering will be low. Okay. Lastly, yes. uh, your last remarks in regarding to entrepreneurship and startups. Uh, uh, my yeah. last remark mm -hmm. to whoever wants to come into the business segment to start up any business. Just have yourself organized. Okay. Have your idea. Mm -hmm. Be focused. Be determined. Take the right path. Partner with people who have also done similar businesses to get knowledge. Avoid the, the don'ts. Have the do's, as we've told you. Okay. Then you'll get there. And we've been here because Smart24 TV Mm. braves your businesses and definitely and uh, surely and uh, i hope you've picked out something out of it uh, the such discussions here impact a life change and uh, the narratives and uh, create opportunities for people to understand how business is uh, fairly or unfair some businesses seem but you can still pick up from there uh, mr francis Mwongi was taking us through the idea of startups bigger challenges for startups in uganda 
uh, reasonably vain that maybe the entrepreneurs want huge profits at startups, uh, something that is not easily uh, found in businesses because you'll have to strive to meet certain profits or to reach greater heights with your business. I'm Jerome Paul Sonko. You can grow your businesses meanwhile with, ad, uh, with us here on Smart24 TV by advertising with us. We can definitely drive your business. Like I said, this is a year of economic uh, revival, a financial revival, a year whereby our own economy is looking at recovering uh, from uh, the pandemic. So it should be a year for your financial revival as well, a year where you should sit down, draw back a little bit, and try uh, to build from the mistakes you did maybe in the last two years. After the break, Rita Cabanero still takes you through with Smart Means Business.